CQ, CQ, this is W9GFO. Is anybody out there? Don't you know people need to see what I've seen? They need to see. This is the way it's been done for billions of years. Small moves are. Hello. Well, I figured you'd see the first problem, and it's a consistent one here, which is skins. I don't understand what's up with... Whoa. Hello. I don't understand what's up with skins. So, and I don't know what to do about it. This is the old server world that we had for Granny's Grinders. This is Spawn. That's my little house. Uh, this is such an old version of the world, the uh, files and folders are old, that the tree is not here. But hopefully I can um, get the schematic loaded and put it here. Uh, it has taken me a long time to figure out how to do stuff. There was a guest on the server who told me how to get to this world. I knew it existed. I knew that Trust in Lies and Neuropsych had put it up here, but I didn't know how to get here. It's a command with a slash world that I didn't know about. So, yeah, the tree's not here. Uh, oh, good. There are animals. There are way too many chickens. Oh, my God. There are way too many chickens. Okay, well, that's a thing. So, I do know how to get here. Now, the thing is that when I whitelist people on my server, I need them to spawn here, not in the um, map. Because I need to make sure I have control. I need to make sure that I have control over who has permissions to do stuff. And I don't want them just coming into the world without... Well, that's weird. Without um, any guidance or anything from me. So I don't want it to be a free-for-all that once I've whitelisted people, they can just hang out wherever they want. So I need a way to be able to get people here... And without them being able to get to the other world unless I want them to. I don't know if that's possible, but... Um, and then the benefit, of course, would be that um, in addition to helping work on the map with me, that they would be able to come over here and we can build stuff and do projects and have PvP and things like that. Now, let's see if I can get to the other world. I always do this wrong because I always forget. Uh... I think it's Granny Gamer, which is not my name. My name is Granny Gamer 1. Let's see what happens. What? I... Uh, where am I? This is... Where am I? Okay, let's hit spawn and see what happens. I wonder what I was doing over here. I don't remember this. Oh, I don't think I have my um, fancy... Te well, I don't know what texture pack I've got on, actually. Oh, now why did I spawn over here? Because there's a big hole. Why did I want a big hole? Who knows? Anyway, there's a big hole right here. Okay, so let's see. See if that works. Nope. Wait a minute. See if that works. Okay. See, I'm just learning this as I go. So, uh, Ooh, that's noisy sand. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to go to spawn and see what happens. No. I'm going to go to Hogan. <coughs> Hello. Whoa, I'm here. <coughs> so there's another issue about building this, and that is that I really need a TeamSpeak channel. I had no idea I was putting these pots so close together when I was building this. I mean, it's okay, but 
Um, I really need a TeamSpeak channel on the TEI thing that I can invite people into that's a private channel. I've tried using other people who have public servers. I've tried using their TeamSpeaks, but we get interrupted by um, people who are curious, and sometimes they're not very polite about that. So I would like a channel that's dedicated to the map making project that I can give people the IP and, you know, a password to the room or something um, so that it would keep down a lot of the hoop de doo which is a technical term for interruptions and um, trolling. So that would be, whoops, that would be very useful too. I would also like a tour of my own server because, frankly, there's a lot of stuff on here that I don't know how it works. I did have somebody on here that was working with me who knows a lot about servers. I'm not going to unfortunately be able to work with that person anymore. Um, and so all that knowledge went with that person. So that's an issue for me is that I really need a tour of my server so that I understand what plugins are on it and how I can use them. Um, and I will educate myself in things like how to use particular world edit commands and stuff like that. So that's fine. I just need to know the basic functions of my server if somebody would explain them to me because I try to look up stuff uh, on like bucket information. Um, but that's really written for geeks. <laughs> and while I'm not exactly a Luddite, I'm certainly not a geek and I certainly don't understand plugins at all or coding. So they're talking in a jargon that I don't understand and I have to wade through miles and miles and miles of text that's completely irrelevant and still sometimes can't find the answers to the questions I'm looking for. Now because I'm both vision impaired and have issues with memory, this of course is a problem that I get exhausted trying to read through reams and reams and reams and pages and pages and lines and lines of text and um, then eventually I become so fatigued that sometimes I even forget what I went there for in the first place and even forget that I've made a note to myself. So there are some real um, um, issues with stuff like that. Uh, so I could use a tour of my own server and what its capacity is and what its um, potential is. Here is one of the trees that um, Neuropsych so kindly did as a schematic for me. S-C-H-E-M-A-T-I-C-L-I-S-D. Now here's a problem. You see? Um, there are dozens and dozens, perhaps over a hundred, of these trees and um, structures that I have, um, that Neuro has kindly uploaded here. Um, so what I want to do is, see these were all consolidated as were sort of the vehicles, although the vehicles didn't have a floor under them, which was a problem because some of them on the bottoms had things like uh, anvils, which are gravity blocks, which fell down. So I have these up here and I can copy and paste them. Unless somebody knows, I can give you the link to the person who made all the trees. Um, and that person may actually have a schematic that will load all the trees. It would probably be huge so that they would all be in one place and then I can copy and paste them. Otherwise, what I'm going to have to do is go through every single tree and um, upload it someplace just so that I have it and then place them where I want them when I'm ready. See, there's the gravity blocks that fell off of those vehicles. Um, let me go to Turtle Island. I hope that's the right way to do it. Yep, that's the right way to do it. So a lot of the trees and stuff are going to be going around here because this is... Um, I guess it's the finale of the map. It's the last place you get to go to after you've done all the um, quests and stuff. So a lot of the trees and stuff are going to here. So I guess I could just uh, upload them in this vicinity and then start pasting them in. But I would like them removed from my schematic list once I've done that because as you can see, it's the schematic list is blue and even people who aren't vision impaired are having issues with reading it. And see how many willows there are? There are like 10 willows. There's, I think there's 10 um, bonsai and 10 cherry trees. And there's quite a number of categories of um, 
trees, just trees. So that's a problem. I don't have a way to access the schematics list in order to remove them to prevent so much visual clutter on my screen that's so hard to navigate. So I need to know how the server works, what its capacity is. I need to know I need to know what I don't even know to ask about. Um, I do need a TeamSpeak channel so that um, we can talk with each other because Skype is problematic for a lot of people. It's even problematic for me. Like trying to host a call and play on Minecraft at the same time is quite a burden on my um, very bad rural internet. So that would help a lot. And for those of you who are watching this just because it's on my channel and you're curious about what I'm doing now, this is... What? Oh, I thought it was something wooden. What was that? Oh, oh. rabbit. <gasps> I scared myself. <laughs> so these are just like block lighting bushes. Um, There's a lot to do. There's landscaping around here. Isn't that pretty? It's a really nice landscape. Ooh, wild pumpkins. Yay. Yeah, I have no problem with wild pumpkins. You know that. So there's a lot of this land around here that needs to be worked on. This tree, the person who built the tree, unfortunately, they used the wrong block ID on the leaves. So the leaves they placed um, decay. So I placed the tree, and you can see most of the leaves are gone. You can see a few little residual ones left. So we're making, like, spheres and stuff out of leaves to build the tree foliage back out and give it a nice canopy. We're also lighting it. Somebody used the wrong kind of leaves. It's probably me. Yeah. We're also lighting the tree up. So let me see, like, time set. T-I-M-E-S-E-T-N-I-G-H-T. Is that right? Yep. So that at night, oh, my gamma is set too high. Uh, but at night, um, see, well, yeah, you can kind of see my gamma is a little higher than normal gameplay. But you see, I like these dramatic shadows, but I like them to be in places where mobs can't spawn. Because I don't want things dropping out of the tree on our player as they're finishing their um, thing. So I've been hiding, you see, I've been kind of hiding sea lanterns and stuff around on the tree. I also changed it out. These materials were different. These used to be emerald ore, so I changed, I mean, emerald blocks. I changed to emerald ore, and this was all um, various shades of wool that I changed to clay because it, the texture is a lot more like a real turtle carapace. I left it as melons, though, because just look at it. Oh, and I made it so the eye moves and follows you. Trick I learned from Neuropsych's build team. Ooh. Whoop, I actually hit inventory. So that's my shopping list. I'm going to invite Sparks back when and if he's not too busy to help me with the uranium command block thing because um, we forgot to put um, particle effect. And Dragnos has that really cool thing where you can make it look like smoke. And I want a real pale. I'm going to go through hit Dragnos's video on the command block thing and see if I can do it myself. I'll try building it on a creative world first. And, um, except I don't know what command sparks, well, I can figure out what command sparks put into this one and see if I can build it myself. But I kind of sort of would like, oh, I've got my graphics on fancy. Oh, well, that's interesting. I never play on fancy, you know. That's why my graphics look different. Also, I'm on default. I see. Okay, so, and then there's... The problem is the people that I know that know how to do stuff are way busy. They're getting paid for projects, which, of course, this is not a paid project. Everything that's been done here has been done... Whoops, I should get away from the water because it's loud. ...has been done by volunteers. And I... Mm, and, you know, people can work when they can work, when they don't have school and when they don't have... Um, ...family commitments and job commitments and stuff like that, so... Uh, putting together a build team for this has been mm, challenging. Is it called Big Pot? I don't know. Yes, it is. So, um, I would like to be able to control more carefully who 
goes where on the server so that I don't want people building independently on this map without me knowing about it. I mean, if they want to build independently, I just need to know and get an idea of where that would be and what it's going to look like and how it's going to integrate into the map as it is because obviously I would like a pot or a vase or something at each of the locations and the loot chest and you know it's standardized I want I want most of the um, locations of the map to be the same or to be similar um, but if people have energy for things like building towns or other structures and stuff I certainly have um, interest in that and I would really like to um, pursue that with them and discuss it with them there's a lot of people I'd like to whitelist on the server but I need to know that they want to be here so if you are interested in working on the server with me please drop me a line and as soon as I sort out all the stuff about where you spawn in and all that you know um, and of course I will if you're going to be doing world edit I will op you and that kind of stuff um, it's going to be based a little bit on trust uh, people I know of course are going to get first priority because I'm pretty sure they're not going to mess things up this is odd hmm. um, uh, that kind of thing so I really do want to work on this because people had projects over the summer like Neuro and Trust and Lies and the build team completely rebuilt TEI the, the main server of TEI um, you know all the mini games and survival they've got now and creative and yada yada so um, they were way too busy to deal and then of course Neuro and whoa Neuro and River went to Minecon um, everybody went to Minecon Minecon is now officially over thank you that's why I'm making this video exactly on the Monday after Minecon oops I lost my sky mm -hmm. um, this was big this was this was big uh, this one dirt see if that makes my sky come back I mean I know I can install the sky separately and use it in default but I kind of don't really want to do the yeah my sky yeah my sky's back now um I don't want to change I, I don't um, if I'm gonna have the sky I'm gonna have the whole thing you know that kind of deal so my dog wants to get on the bed and he won't let me pick him up figure that out so I've managed to keep this pretty consolidated and everything's pretty close to spawn. Um, we've got one, two, three, four, I think, teleport places built or started already, established already to be finished. And I think I would like about nine more. And that will be the entire project. So we've got a good start on it. It's really happening. So let me know if you have energy, skills, time, and interest in working on this with me or have suggestions for how to build it and what things I've overlooked because obviously I've never built a map before. This is all um, an experiment and I don't want to do it wrong because I think it's a pretty important project and I would like to present it well and not with a bunch of hinky stuff that just doesn't work well. You know what I mean? So I'd like to avoid that if at all possible. I can't wait till I can take that down so this isn't in shade. I mean, I've got monsters off right now, but eventually monsters are going to need to be back on. I'm starting to uglify this part. It's already got a trash truck. Um, I think that's about all I wanted to say. If it seems like I've forgotten something, I probably have. So please let me know what it is that I might have forgotten and um, make any suggestions you have in the comments or on Twitter if you've got links to send me you can find me on Twitter at rriverstone or look up Granny Gamer one you'll find it either way um, I also have a Facebook Granny Gamer one Facebook group you can ask to join um, let's stay in touch I'm also on Skype Ugh, gravel I'm also on Skype as our Riverstone. Uh, and hopefully I'll have a TeamSpeak channel and a pretty white horse. All right, I think that's all I've got to um, do right now. That's pretty much my wish list. 
I've been waiting for all the fruit for all with um, Minecon and stuff to end so that I can begin having conversations about how to do this map. In the meantime, like I said, let me see if I can do it. Um, ee, fingers on the keyboard. Is this how you do it? Oops. Uh, no, public. Cross your fingers. <gasps> Did it work? Yeah, because the first time when I just typed... Wait a minute. Uh-oh. See, it always sends me to a different place. It doesn't tell, send me to where I was the last time. This is a problem. It doesn't send me, like, to spawn on this world. And if I type spawn, I don't go to spawn spawn. Um, let me see. I go to, uh, I go to spawn on the map, on the, you know, Native American map. Whoops. Let's see if this works. Eep. No. Because it's all the warps were set when it was another world. See, I don't know where I am. But if I type spawn, I won't go to spawn. I will go to um, spawn on the um, map maker map. It seems to me if I head away from those extreme hills and go through the desert, I should end up where I need to be. I'm doing this from memory. I'm not sure. And I wonder if I can set my fly speed. Yeah, I can. All right, that helped. Yeah, there's the upside down cross thing, cross arrow, whatever. This is where I was working on a project just for me. Hey, there's a temple over here. Well, well, okay. Um, it was I was working on that um, build for uh, uh, Mother Emmanuel Metropol uh, Mother Emmanuel African Episcopal Church. And I thought I would build it here, and then I realized there's some problems with that because of schematics. I can't turn it into a schematic. So um, that was an issue. Yeah, I'm not sure how to get home from here. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I know that at some point on this world, I had uh, lined all the places where there were a lot of people doing stuff. I lined all the edges of the water with um, sugar cane, but mm, I think I need to go this way. All right, well, that's all I really have to say, except I'm stone serious about this project. I really want to, ooh, another temple. Ooh. I didn't know that was there. I really want to do this project, and... It's frustrating because there's stuff I don't know how to do, and I really don't know who to ask. So, um, if you have any energy for helping me, if you're good at um, bucket and spigot servers and plugins and stuff and know how they work, anything like that, I would appreciate the help because I'm really not. I'm new to all this, you know. I've only played on servers. I don't know and. I the people when I had a server every there we go everybody else did the stuff so I didn't and there wasn't time to teach me so I didn't really learn how the stuff even works so I'm kind of a little stuck right now and um I'm not embarrassed to say I don't know because that you know you got to learn everybody learned sometime right they weren't born knowing this and I don't know anything about computer programming and coding and all that stuff. So this to me is just like magic. So any help would be appreciated. Oh, it's going to be loud here, isn't it? Because I got a woo-woo. Okay. Sure, it's a pretty map, though. We had a lot of fun on here, and I'd like to have more fun again. There certainly is a whole lot of stuff we didn't do. So here I am, not being me again. But it's me. Hi. And I'd hug you. But my arms don't bend. Bye. I will kill you. Like, dislike, share, comment, subscribe, and adore. Get it.